Hi everyone, welcome back to Code Step by Step. My name is Anil. Angular 12 is released in the market and in this video, we will discuss what are the new features, what are the new points, what are the breaking changes with the Angular 12. But before starting with the points, I want to share some information. Some beginner guys actually are thinking that now Angular 12 is completely new thing. This is not related with the Angular 11, 10 and all. See, whenever any update or any new version is coming in the market for angular they are actually providing just some few updates right they are just added uh, three or four new features otherwise code base and 98 percent angular is same as the previous version so if still you are learning angular 9 10 or 11 then still fine there is a no issue so don't worry about that with the every new version they just added the new features not changing the complete thing right so now let's uh, start with the points so these are the points uh, that are updated in the angular 12 some are related to the code some are not related to the code and for every point i created a separate slide so we will discuss every point in the detail but let's take a look first of all with the every point they are actually changing the view engine with the IV everywhere. After that, they are changing the uh, message ID format in the localization. And Angular 12 uh, are actually confused with the scope of the protector. They are thinking that uh, we should remove the protectors or not, right? We will take talk in detail. So after that, my favorite feature is Nullish collaging this is provided and uh, i will show you the code also for that and uh, they update some uh, documentation also so that we can learn angular easily they also applied some uh, uh, changes in the style uh, related to the sas and uh, they also uh, depreciate the support for internet explorer 11 and there is some minor up uh, updates also we will discuss in the uh, separate slide that right so let's uh, jump on a first thing they are saying that moving closer to the IV everywhere and uh, they also provided that in a bracket view engine. So what are the IV everywhere and what is the view engine? See, they both are responsible, uh, responsible for compiling the components and showing them on the browser. But view engine is the older one which is depreciated. Keep in mind, this is depreciated, not removed. In the official documentation, they are also just claiming that they just depreciated, not removed. In the further versions, like uh, uh, in Angular 13 or Angular 14, they might be removed, it, right? And now they replace it with the IV everywhere because this is the modern and much faster than the view engine, right? There is a nothing more than it. So do uh, Angular developer need to uh, make any changes in the code for that? See, no, this is not for Angular developer. This is actually for the library authors and uh, for the NPM package developers and all, right? So if you are a normal developer, then you don't need to uh, make any code changes and all because they are actually changing inside the compiler. So there is just, uh, you can say that uh, they just remove the one thing and just replace it with the another thing. So we cannot do with anything. So just library authors and NPM package developer uh, need to take care about that second point is nullish collision so this is uh, a point that actually really save the time for the developer see so let's say you have a property with the name of h and you want to check that it should not be null it should not be undefined it should not be false for that you have to apply the three checks but now you can apply the double question marks and replace these three checks with the just two double question mark right and you can see that how much time you can save and how much code you can save. This is uh, just uh, coming in the Angular 12. And they also just give a statement for uh, future of protectors. Here you can see that, right? Actually, they are what actually they are saying that uh, first thing is that if you don't know what is the protectors, so this is the framework for end to end testing in Angular. Second thing, they are actually thinking to remove it, right? But they are not removed this feature in the angular 12 they are just thinking that and they sa said that they are re uh, reviewing the feedback for the other developers and the community and after that they will check that it should be remain in the angular or we should remove it right so for now there is a nothing for it they just give a statement all right after that 
uh, stylish improvement so what actually happens now angular component will support the inline sass previously uh, we cannot use uh, sass inline because of the angular compiler but now this is possible and uh, now angular 12 is also uh, supporting the uh, tailwind css also right after that uh, which is uh, one more major change so see uh, first thing is wh what is i18 so this is uh, used for the localization so let's say uh, you want to publish your app in uh, more than one countries and in the all countries they are speaking the different different languages so control the uh, language of our website we use the i18 package right what what actually happened in the previous time um, the developers are using the various uh, uh, you can say that the format for IDs. That's why sometimes the code is broken, sometimes the code is just buggy and due to the white space template and all. But now they are actually using the canonical message ID format, which is more reliable and bug free, right? And uh, after that, uh, they just provide a heading with uh, here you can see that learning Angular. So they update the documentation so that uh, developers can learn the things easily. And they just trying to make it better and one more new thing they, uh, they are added which is uh, the content projection guide this is completely new you can just go to the angular website and check it out after that these are some minor uh, updates uh, here you can see that they just uh, depreciate the support for angular 11 actually microsoft is also uh, depreciate the support for angular 10 also so that's why they are also just depreciating the support after that uh, strict mode is uh, by default applied in the cli so if you still have any small issues uh, uh, with your code in especially with the typescript then uh, by default strict mode is applied that's why you will just face the more error on the compile time right and it will really save our time also so this is also a good feature after that uh, in angular 11 they just provide the experimental support for webpack 5 and now in the angular 12 they are providing the fully support to the angular 5 sorry webpack 5 they update the typescript version uh, now uh, in angular 12 we have uh, uh, typescript 4.2 and uh, one more which is uh, i think which is not a major update uh, they are actually uh just using ng build command uh, they are just provided the by default for production and uh, it will just save some extra time because sometime we have to just make the configuration last time but now we don't need to apply these configurations right so thanks for watching this video and uh, don't forget to subscribe my channel and like this video